a waiver, uncontested, agreed divorce, or non-contested divorce are terms that are used to describe when a husband and wife have an agreement and they do not contest the dissolution of their marriage. In Texas, you start a agreed divorce by filing an original petition for divorce. You file that in the county in which you reside for the previous 90 days. As you file an original petition for divorce, that will then get you a case number and a court assignment. Texas has a 60-day waiting period that is um, a common waiting period throughout the United States. I'm familiar with California, which has a six months waiting period. Certain states on the East Coast, like Virginia, South Carolina, have a one year waiting period. Uh, the shortest waiting period I'm familiar with is Florida, which is 20 days, and then Georgia is 30 days. So with the 60 day waiting period or cooling off period, if a husband and wife get into heated arguments as to their relationship, then that gives them time to see if this is really what they want to do. After the divorce is filed, you will need to prepare a final decree of divorce coupled with any other supporting documents that may transfer real property, transfer title to vehicles, divide retirement accounts. Uh, if you have children, your children will need to be addressed. Also as a caveat, any children born of the woman regardless of whether or not the husband is the father in Texas will need to be addressed. If you have a court order in regards to the children, then you will need to attach it to the final decree of divorce or at least disclose it to the court depending on your judge's personal preference. Generally, they will want to see the certified copy of a final order in suit affecting parent-child relationship. Now, if your children do not reside in Texas, then Texas has no jurisdiction over your children. So if the wife has moved to New York and you are trying to get divorced in Texas and you are a resident of a Texas county and the wife has had three more children with another man in New York, well, in that fact pattern, Texas would have no jurisdiction over those three children. But you would still have to disclose that the children were born during the marriage and then Texas will make a finding that those children are not to be adjudicated in this uh, divorce proceeding because Texas has no jurisdiction over those children. Now, the final decree divorce should set up the property division and you are required to divide all property. Undivided property can be subject to a future division, thus a future lawsuit. At the same time, you would want to transfer and clear up title to houses, um, any type of uh, vehicles that the parties may have titled together. Uh, retirement usually requires a separate order other than the final decree. If it is through an employer, if you have an individual retirement account, you can do those by letter and you don't need a qualified domestic relations order. Health insurance for the children and uh, rights and duties for the parents who determines the residence or an agreement to restrict it to the residence of the children to a certain area. Uh, educational decisions, those decisions and the rights of a parent would need to be specified and allocated in the final decree of divorce. Once you have the form prepared, reviewed, and signed, you would also need a waiver of service. Some counties require a parenting class if children are involved, which is generally a four-hour parenting class. You may take that um, generally online, although the live class is, is offered in the bigger cities. The prove up of the divorce is done in front of a judge most of the time. I am familiar with one court that now allows prove ups to be done by a sworn or written affidavit, which are the same questions that uh, would be asked of you in front of the judge. Either you would give an oral narrative as to these questions and the responses or your lawyer would ask you the questions. The questions that you would answer in front of the judge would uh, be, uh, please state your full name. Are you presently married to your spouse? Prior to filing this petition for divorce, have you been domiciled in Texas and a resident of Harris County for the preceding six months or the county in which you reside? 
has your marriage become insupportable because of a discord or conflict of personalities that has destroyed your marriage? Is there any chance you can reconcile and go back and live together as husband and wife? During this marriage, were there any children born or adopted? Is your wife expecting a child at this time? Have you addressed all issues of health insurance, child support, conservatorship, and visitation between you, your spouse, and your children in this final decree divorce? Do you believe that is in the best interest of your children? These children own no property other than their personal effects. These children are under no court orders. This is the first time a court order has been issued in um, uh, anywhere in regards to these children. Now, of course, if you have court orders, you would disclose the court orders and you would attach them to the final decree divorce and you would generally ask that those court orders continue to govern all issues in regards to the children. You believe that these agreements you've entered into with your spouse are in the best interest of your children. Now, you and your spouse have also entered into an agreement in regards to the division of the marital property and the marital debt. You have listed all marital property that you both own here in this final decree of divorce. Yes. Do you believe that to be a just and right division of the marital estate? I do. And I recommend to have your spouse sign the final decree of divorce because then it becomes an agreed judgment. Although that's not always required, it generally is cleaner and avoids um, problems later with allegations that the uh, final decree of divorce was not consented to, even though the other spouse may have signed a waiver and said, yes, you can go submit whatever you want to the judge. Some of your judges will approve it. Most will approve a global waiver and then a final decree, but it's not a consent judgment and there are ways to appeal it, to attack it, and to set it aside after uh, a couple years. You can be a couple years after a divorce and still set it aside if it is not signed uh, by your spouse. So I would reference the last page is generally where the signature is at. Are you familiar with your spouse's signature? And is that your spouse's signature on the last page of the agreed final decree divorce? Are you asking the court today to dissolve your marriage and approve your agreements? Generally, the court then will approve your decree divorce and sign it. And depending on your county in which you reside, you may be able to get a final decree within 10 or 15 minutes in Harris County. The clerk has to index it and they're... Um, a lot busier so generally it's seven days in Harris County before you can get your certified copy but then once it's indexed and imaged you can pull it anytime Fort Bend County I practice over there frequently and that is usually 15 minutes from the date the time that you uh, see the judge and you give your testimony uh, if you have documents which were to transfer real property those are usually filed in a separate section, uh, uh, a separate department of the county, and you will need to make sure you get those filed as well, whether it's a special warranty deed, deed of trust, a secure assumption. Generally, you take powers of attorney on motor vehicles to the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles to transfer title to vehicles. Also, you can sign the back of a title uh, to a um, vehicle over to a uh, spouse which is sometimes easier than doing the uh, power of attorney to transfer over the motor vehicle. My name is Michael Busby, and these are the um, general uh, procedures to do a uncontested, agreed, non-contested divorce. In Texas, I practice primarily in Harris and Fort Bain County, and my number is 281-DIVORCE.